Hello, my name is Peter Lozov, and this talk is about fair conjunction in Minicana. Conjunction is one of basic operations in Minicana. It allows to find common answers for several goals. Classical conjunction is left biased operation. In other words, the conjunction necessarily evaluates the left conjunct. The right conjunct is evaluated for each answer of the left conjunct. The order of conjuncts is critically important due to the asymmetric nature of the conjunction. Of course, the order of conjuncts doesn't affect search completeness. However, the order of conjuncts often affects both performance and convergence. Let's consider an example. This is least certain relation. As you can see, we have two relation calls in the second branch of Candy, smallest of and sort of. The left relation has good conjunct order. We will call it the optimistic case. And the right, <coughs> and the right relation has bad conjunction order. We will call it the pessimistic case. Let's try to sort four element list. This query requires to evaluate all answers. In the optimistic case, the query converged and we got one answer. In the pessimistic case, we also got answer, but then the query diverged. Okay, let's simplify the query. New query requires to evaluate only the first answer. Now, the query converged in both cases, but uh, the performance of uh, the pessimistic case is several times worse than the optimistic one. And if we try to sort a five element list, then, oh, in the pessimistic case, the performance will hardly change. But in the pessimistic case, we won't get an answer even after five minutes of waiting. Well, we want the con conjunction to depend as little as possible of uh, the order of conjuncts. First of all, we want the order of conjuncts not to affect the convergence. This property is called, called fairness. We already have one fair operation. Disjunction is fair due to interleaving of disjuncts evaluation. So, Let's try to interleave conjuncts evaluation. First of all, our algorithm uh, has a parameter. It is unfolding bound N. Conjuncts are evaluated from left to right, but after N steps, we stop to evaluate the current conjunct and go to the next conjunct. Note. Each conjunct, each next conjunct, get substitution that updated the previous conjunct. Finally, if all conjuncts were unfolded n times, then we again go to the leftmost conjunct. Let's go back to our example. Now the query of all answers converge in both cases. Moreover, if the, in the pessimistic case, uh, we get a huge performance improvement for n equals 11. As you remember, left biased conjunction didn't find an answer even in five minutes, but uh, it's still worse than in the optimistic case. Also, if n is not 11, then the performance is much worse. To summarize, the naive algorithm has better convergence than left biased conjunction. And it has better performance with a fine tune N. However, we need to choose, uh, we need to choose N for each program. Also, different conjuncts may require different values of N, but N is global. As a result, some conjuncts in program 
can be switched to early or to late. So now we want to dynamically determine when we need to switch conjuncts. To do this, we have a predicate that takes state and a relational call as arguments. As long as uh, the predicate, predicate is top, we will continue conjunct evaluation. Otherwise, we will stop conjunct evaluation and go to another conjunct. To formulate our predicate, we need to we need the definition of structural recursion. Uh, argument of relation is structurally recursive if it structurally decreases with each recursion step. And the uh, relation is structurally recursive if it has at least one structurally recursive argument. For example, let's consider uh, uh, appenda, relation appenda. It's a relation of least concatenating. Arguments X and Z are structurally recursive. Indeed, XS is subterm of X and ZS is subterm of Z. XS is argument of nested call and ZS is uh, the third argument of nested call. So this means they will structurally decrease with uh, each recursion step. So append is a structurally recursive relation. Now we consider how structurally recursive argument will change during evaluation. The number of constructor in a structurally recursive argument decreases with each recursion step. Thus, call of structurally recursive relation either conversed or all of its structurally recursive argument become free variables in a finite number of recursive steps. And arguments that are free variable do not contain useful information. Such calls should be postponed while other conjuncts will extend their substitution. This is what we will use as a predicate. We will switch uh, conjunct when all structural recursive argument of the current conjunct become free variables. As a result, the algorithm is as follows. Uh, conjuncts are unfolded from left to right, again. Each conjunct is unfolded uh, while predicate is top. However, the case is possible when the predicate gate is bottom for all conjuncts. In this case, we will use the naive fair conjunction behavior. And uh, this is our example again. This query of all answers converge in both cases again. Moreover, we have the same performance in both cases. The second query is evaluated identically in the first one. This is because fair conjunction immediately switched the conjunct to conjunct smallest. To summarize, this algorithm has the same convergence as uh, for naive uh, fair conjunction. And it has better performance than left biased and naive fair conjunctions. The need for conjunct switching is uh, determined dynamically. But if a relation isn't, structurally recursive, 
our approach degrades into the naive fair conjunction. Let's talk about evaluation. We used five benchmarks for evaluation, least reversing, least sorting, and three more complex programs. There are three solvers of classic math puzzles. Also, each benchmark was in two versions. In the optimistic version, we have manually selected a good conjunct order. In the pessimistic version, we put several conjunct in a bad order. All three complex benchmarks are classic math uh, puzzle solvers. We will not go into detail about them. You can read about them on slides or on Wikipedia. <coughs> As you can see, the first one is a tower of uh, Hanoi solver. The second one is bridge and torch problem solver. And uh, the last one is water pouring puzzle solver. In the optimistic case, the fair conjunction produces uh, additional computation, which adds small overhead. Here, 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 here. However, in the case of the least reversion, the fair conjunction by structural recursion has better performance. Thus, dynamic conjunct, um, dynamic conjunct switching can improve performance even in the optimistic case. It's interesting. Okay, let's talk about uh, pessimistic case. First of all, if the column reached the top, then this benchmark didn't complete in five minutes. Okay, in the pessimistic case, left biased conjunction and even naive fair conjunction slow down dramatically. Here, here, and here. At the same time, fair conjunction demonstrate comparable performance to the optimistic case. You can find out more about the fair conjunction in our paper. We described formal semantics for left biased and both fair conjunctions. Also, we presented more detailed evaluation. In the future, we plan to generalize our approach for a larger class of programs. We also plan to formalize our approach in COC proof assistant. And uh, next, proof uh, the fairness and equivalence to uh, denotational semantic of uh, classical mini -canon. Thank you. That's all. Thank you.